thing called a high speed lane change. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys? I am so excited to debut this series that I filmed, oh fuck, over a year ago probably now. I got together four girls that I know and I asked them 10 different questions and each video is gonna be one question, one discussion about one topic that my mostly male audience can maybe learn something from about women and this series is called Do Girls Like? And our first video here is gonna be about Anals. Do girls like anal? Why, why not? And I ask the hard questions too, so you guys get to know the inner workings of the female brain because as we all know, I'm not like other girls and I also don't know what the fuck is going on in most women's brains. So maybe we can learn something here today. Open the forum of discussion to dialogue. I got 10 of these videos, so let's go ahead and get started. I hope you enjoy the first one, which is on the topic of do girls like anal. Enjoy. Do girls like anal? Do girls like anal? Do girls like anal? Yes. Yes. Girls <laughs> like anal. I like anal when the dick isn't longer than six inches. Longer than six inches? Yeah. Oh, I love anal. I've tried it a few times. I think I was with someone that I was comfortable with. Then yeah, it'd be fine. But if you're if you can't communicate with that person, then no, because they can go in too fast or they can pull out too much, and it, it you just, you've got to be able to communicate with them. And if you don't have that, then no. So rise of right now, I would I haven't done it with my boyfriend, but I'd be open to because I trust him. Okay, so like no like drunk one night stand. No, just going in the you ass. gotta prep for that shit. Yes. Mm. Yes, absolutely. I've only had anal once though. Really? Just one time. Just one time. No lube. No lube. No finger? No, 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 nothing. Just. Oh, he spit on that dick and put it in my ass, and I was like. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. No, no asking? <laughs> was there like pre warning or anything? Or I was on my period, and I was like, oh, I don't wanna fuck. Like, I've literally, I'm grinding on you, and I have a tampon in, and he was just like. <laughs> and just like, next hole. <laughs> and just, just like went for it. Yeah, and for some, it didn't hurt. It did. <laughs> I think I shit too much. <laughs> I was like, ah. I was always so terrified of oh anal. But were you like drunk? Were you like loosened up a little bit? Like, I'm like always a little tipsy. No, <laughs> just a little, a little tipsy. tipsy. Just a little tipsy, you know? Okay, so did you like it though? Yeah, but he has a smaller dick too, so okay. that could have been it. That could have been it. Okay, how much prep do you do? For anal? Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing, and I know you and I had a conversation about this. The thing with anal, Girls are like, oh, like I'm gonna go get like anal bleaching done, and I'm gonna do this and like douche before, and, like that kind of stuff. And totally, like if you're like planning it, but some like a lot of the times, like you're just you might just be fucked up. You might just have like, a couple of drinks and you're like get a little crazy. That's true. Okay, but what about like much, easing into it? Like easing into it. How much lube do you need lunch. for eight inches? How much <laughs> lube do you need for eight inches? A bottle. Ooh. <laughs> Butt plugs. You need butt plugs. You need butt I plugs. I liked your butt plugs. Yeah. yeah. I liked it a lot. Oh, my butt plugs? Wanted, I wanted to try it. <laughs> yeah, no, you, need, you need the different size. They're ones. like the varying size ones. Yeah. Okay. There's ones you can buy in like a kit. And there's there's like cute ones you can buy. And they come in like different sizes. And then that's probably a good way to stretch it out. I worked that up. Okay. Then just like going in raw. Yeah. Okay. And you you would like definitely like prep 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 prep. prep. Okay. Prep yeah. prep. Like what do they call those bags? Yeah, the douche the yeah. douches. You would prep douche, that shit. You would prep it. You would yeah. feel comfortable, and then yeah. you would have communication. Yes, and probably in the shower too. Just probably just in case. just in case. I'm so afraid of that happening. I'm yeah. like, cause there's no bigger turnoff than you pull out and there's just shit on your dick. Right, right. And I feel like there there have been I've heard stories about like people who like they suction it out so it like comes. Oh. It's not just like a little on the dick. It's like it comes. That's like terrifying. So like I prep as well, and I still feel like I don't prep enough, and I'm like ah. And then sometimes I'll just be like, oh, I'm drunk. Let's do it, and like hope nothing happens. He's yeah. drunk too. It'll be fine. Well, and that's the <laughs> thing. Like, it's like not guys, with a random. Guys should also have that expectation. Like I am going into something that things only come out. Like there is nothing that goes into like a vagina. You can go in, go out. Like things go in and out, right? An ass. I don't shove a tampon in my ass. You know, so yeah. it, things only come out. So when you're pushing something in, it's a, it's a, it's a foreign object. I'm not yeah. used to it. It's it, not naturally lubricated. Like no. you could fuck it up. Like having random guys fuck your ass is a good way to like get a prolapse or like some kind of perforation. Like we don't want that. No. Nobody fucking no, wants no, 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 that. No. From experience, you don't want the monster cocks in there without like a lot of fucking prep. Yeah. No. For I was, sure. I always thought like, yeah, you have to like prep. You have to like like glide in for like maybe 40 minutes. That was I was under the impression. Glide in for 40. Minutes. A little, like a little, 
Like a fucking well, centimeter, like every 20 minutes or yeah, something. Yeah, and then, but no, he was just like, it felt good, I would do it again. Why have you only done it once? <sighs> You've had a whole life of anal cavity you could have done. Like four months ago, though. So oh, <laughs> my God. Exactly. So. <laughs> do you think you would like anal if the only experience you had of anal was just sticking it in right away with no... Oh, fuck no. No, 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 like easing into it. Oh, no. No, well, I mean, I, I, guys, like, like there's there's a thing called a high speed lane change. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You're just like, like, okay, babe, change lanes. <laughs> no, it's like you don't like think it. Like guys, like don't like like think. Oh, I'm gonna high speed lane change. Like they're just like fucking. They just, oh but my god! Like, your asshole has a You've never heard about that's that? really gonna hurt. No, it's a high speed lane change. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a New York thing. Huh? <laughs> Fucking ease into our lane changes. <laughs> right, I'm like, yeah, she just fucking sped up, no stop sign, no nothing. <laughs> Okay, so I have some thoughts after all of that, after editing it. What I'm doing really is like, I'm editing it all together because I have no idea. I don't even remember what the girl said. And then I'm putting my afterthoughts in the end. So if you guys have more thoughts or want to hear more personally what I think, you can wait to the end and get a little bit of that too because I don't think the videos are going to be too long. And also let me know if you liked this series. Please do post in the comments if you liked it. Thumbs it up, share it, whatever you got to do because if these do well, even though they're never going to be monetized, they're probably going to be age restricted. I'll make more of them with different girls. I'll I'll ask these questions over again or I'll ask new questions. So if you have any questions for women, post them in the comments. I do have a few female friends who would maybe be okay with answering them that aren't the girls in this video here. I can bring Blue back. Her and I are still pretty close. She has some friends I could probably bring over and it'll be great. So please do let me know what you think in the comments section. I had a lot of fun doing this. I feel like this is perfect for my channel because my channel is more like male dominated male interests. But now I have this little segue into the woman world where these women don't know that I'm actually like a man in a woman's body, not in a trans way, but in like a metaphorical way. So they're all like talking to me like I'm a girl, but I don't get it. So I thought I would share that with you guys and we would both be confused and enlightened. <laughs> anyway, the consensus that I saw is that like, it seems like girls want to say that they like anal or they want to be cool and like anal, but it does seem like unless you are kind of like a size queen that likes to be stretched out or likes to be in pain, you probably don't love anal at the start but that you could learn to like anal as long as your partner takes it slow, uses lube, plays with the, the hole with the finger and doesn't just jam it in there because that's like the surefire way to never get anal again. So my consensus is that women would like anal because I actually found out and this happened after I filmed all this so I didn't have it to say in the video. I didn't have this anecdote but I actually found out that like I was filming some butt plug stuff for OnlyFans. That day after I had prepped, I felt clean and I was like messing around with it a lot for you know the content or whatever actual anal was more pleasurable. And it's funny because my partner was like, oh, well, the dominant aspects out of it. So I'm just going to go in the, the pussy. The pussy feels better. So I don't know. Everyone has preferences, but yeah, I actually was able to enjoy it as long as I was stretched out enough. It's not like a pussy where it just kind of like stretches and it's meant to be stretched and it feels good to stretch. It's not like that. No, like when you're going into an ass and I have a whole video called how anal feels, but the, the long and short of it or the short and short of it is that like, it feels like you're taking a shit. It's insecure and uncomfortable. And it also can hurt if it's too big. Like imagine you're like constipated for a week and you're taking one of those fucking giant vile shits. That's like hard. And it's just like, it's one, it's like that. It's like that. And you can actually bleed from it. My tip that I've gotten from these conversations for you guys, guys is actually be mindful of your partner and take it really slow. Lots of foreplay. Even if your girl doesn't usually like foreplay, foreplay is key with anal and it's the key way to make your girl try it more. For introducing it, as always, I would say communication. Tell your partner how important it is to you. Just be like, I've always wanted to try this. I promise you I will be gentle. We will take it slow. And if at any point you're like, no, I will stop. But it would really mean a lot to me if you could fulfill this fantasy of mine and try it for me. And in turn, I'll do or try something for you. Maybe like a really nice date night or some weird kinky shit that you like. All right, guys, once again, tell me what you think about this series. I'm really excited about it. I love you guys. I would love to bring the channel in this direction. Maybe even like go on Fremont Street and interview people. I am the Fremont Street experience now, so... I think that would be pretty cool. I could get a little mic and talk to people and people would love to talk to me because I'm me, you know, and it'll be great. So let me know if you want that kind of thing because I'm trying to figure a way to use this channel where 
you know, I might have the virility, the virility, the viralness to get past the complete annihilation that YouTube does to the algorithm on my channel. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Oh my god, I got to Okay, I was never like someone who liked anal. So yeah, so like every time I've had anal, it was like not with prep and uh, it just like hurt a lot and I like couldn't calm down because I don't want to like shit on a dick, you know, so I was like tripping. And I was hiking with Darian. I say something about ass or something and she's like, well, you probably do a lot of anal since your boyfriend is the ass master. I'm like, the what? <laughs> I'm like, the what? And then she's like, yeah, Mackenzie told me that like Hunter like really, really likes anal. And I'm like, no. What? Yeah. And then I asked her again about it like a week ago and she was like, yeah, yeah, Mackenzie. I was like, cause I said Mackenzie or somebody. I never did anal with him. That's what Hunter says. And I was like, ever. I'm, I'm, I'm always been really, really scared of it. I'm Sorry. so glad I controlled this footage.